numbing part. So yeah, so I've been numbed, um, and uh, so I can't really feel anything, right? I definitely can't feel a pencil. I was, um, Miss, if you want, you can turn it around so you can see it. So Missy is going to okay. kind of read your comments. Hey, everybody. Oh, I um, see one comment is, oh, snap. <laughs> That's Dwayne. Oh, so, oh, Dwayne's in the house. Dwayne is in the house. And Kelly says, hi, Dina. That's all right. So, um, so talk us through, I know you said that this. She does not have any other tattoos. I do not. So I have no idea what this is going to be like. And, and this is very different than getting a body tattoo. Yeah, body tattoo different. is a little bit more uncomfortable, but you know, this is a little bit of a weird sensation because it's your face. The other yes. thing is, is um, somebody's asking if there's numbing involved and there absolutely is. There's a topical numbing agent that was applied. And I numb topically the entire time. And she does that the entire time. If you can hear that, I'm going to flip this back around. There we go. This is so crazy. This part doesn't hurt at all. So the other option is, if you can't afford this, you just come here every day and Stephanie will draw them on for you. It's a different, so no, they don't do that. But I'm not even good at drawing them on. Like, I can't even do that. If you're like me, can't even draw them on right. So yeah. this is still much better than I normally do. Wow, look at how, can you guys, can you tell the yes. difference, right? And, uh, Mary Beth, no, the, the numbing agent is topical. Yeah, there's no needles now, for there's, the... There's for blading the, for the actual wow. brow, but there's no That's really needle for nice. the numbing. Like, the other one, um, yeah. Jim wants to know if we have wine anything? before this. We are not having wine it's before It's important this. not to have wine, right? Yes, exactly. You don't want to do anything blood thinning prior. You can go home and have all the wine you want. All the wine that I want. That'll be a different show. That'll yeah. be after this <laughs> when I have great brows and they're not drawn on. All right, so now okay. what's next? Okay, so now we're going to go through your one brow. Add some more numbing, go through the other brow, add some more numbing, okay. and I'll kind of let you take a peek in between how you can see that. Okay. Gotcha. So this is a little nerve wracking. Right? Are you okay lying back? Sure. Okay. And how long does it last? How long does it last? We bring it back for our first touch up anywhere from six weeks. I can't touch it for six weeks because your body needs to heal. Six okay. weeks to four months. You know, with microblading, I really like to see how the person's skin holds the pigment, but you know, for the most part, I say yearly touch-ups. Yearly touch-ups. So once you get the initial procedure done, you're I'm looking at about yearly touch-ups. Yes. But it's, it's a permanent thing, pretty much, It right? is not. It sits it's very not. superficially in the skin. Okay. And if you do not maintain the touch-ups, you will not hold the pain. You will lose it. Yep. Okay. All right. Missy, come here. Flip it around so I can see it. Oh. I want to see. Yeah, you got to hit that button. Let me see. Hit the button. All right. Let's see. Oh gosh, all right. So here we are trying to get close in person. I really need to see this done. I know. Okay, do you I ready? Wanna, I don't know that I want to watch it. Missy, you better do it, because I can see myself. <laughs> I don't know that I want to okay, see myself. Okay, I'm flipping my... it around. All right, do like the dentist does, and don't show me anything. Okay, Steph. you need to look towards me. Oh, I do? Yeah. Because that seems unfortunate. Sorry. <laughs> it seems ready? like. Um, ready? Yeah, okay. sure. I mean, as ready as you can be when okay. someone's. All right, that's not horrible. Well, the sound is not good. It All right. Does. That sound is letting me know, I call it the sweet spot, well, everybody calls it the sweet spot, that we're where we want to be. We're All right, so it feels like a little, like a little scratch. So it's called microblading because you're putting like these l tiny little, you said paper cuts oh, yep. before. Once I get through it, I can add more numbing. Okay. Yes, you're essentially creating a bunch of little paper cuts. Ooh. Now, if your skin is extremely thin, you're not a good candidate for it because when you go to make the little paper cuts, your skin would just split right open. Oh. And how, do, how does one know if they have thin skin? They cry a lot? They, they, they no. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, anybody that, you know, their skin is just very lax. Um, like a translucent kind yes. of skin? Okay. You know, um, elderly people, you know, as, you, as we age, things get a little thinner. So it's not always the Except best option. Lines. All right, so this isn't awful. It feels like a little bit like the dentist. It's a, it's a little... You should little, be feeling this in your teeth, Dina. You know? Well, not in my teeth, but it's like, uh, you know what? You're at the dentist, you can't really relax, but you know it's good for you, right? That kind of... 
And honestly, this is your worst pass. This is my worst yep. pass. Okay, so that one Why pass is, this is done. Why is the worst pass? Because, because Debbie has some. Because now we're going to be ordering, or we're going to be adding more numbing. More numbing. All right. So we're going to let this numb. So that was it? That was the first pass? That was the first pass. Now okay. we're going to do the same thing on the other All side. All right. That's not horrible. Now when I numb it, I leave the pigment on because your skin is open. So it will start to absorb the pigment a little bit. Oh. Do I look 22 yet? Anybody? Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you for Dye saying that, Missy. It is eyebrow microblading. Oh, you have your Chardonnay go party tonight. Have so much fun. Oh, that's so nice. Now, what is a Chardonnay go party? Yeah, so we have actually turned Chardonnay go, which is the viral video, which I'm started sure all of this, Sorry. Um, into a board game. And um, we have sent the board game around the country, so people are playing. Oh, that hurts Sorry. a little. Um, we're sending the board game around the country um, to be played, and um, so by the time it's done, it's, it'll be on the road for about eight weeks, and about 400 people will play it. Oh, wow. Um, and then we'll do a Kickstarter. So my eyes are watering, but I'm not crying. I think it's just the light just the, and my contacts. It's the light, it's the contacts, and all of this affects your sinuses. Some people, oh. when I'm doing any kind of permanent cosmetics, will feel like they get a very, very stuffy nose. Oh, really? Everybody is asking about the cost. All right, so let's talk about... Okay, so microblading, we charge 500 and then we do touch-ups. So your touch-up fees run anywhere from 75 to 150 depending on what touch-up you are at. Now, once you reach the 150 point, as long as you're staying within a two-year time frame of your touch-ups, I don't ever charge more than 150 So that would always be your ongoing touch-up. So as long as you maintain it, you're never paying the new procedure. There you go. All right, so you're talking about a, definitely an investment at the beginning, right? Yes. And then you're talking about 150 a year. So over the course of a year, you're talking about maybe $12 a month, But right? it'll take you about three years to get to that 150 point. So 75 oh. for your first, 100 for your second. Okay. And then we go to the 150 point. Got it. Because by if you're that's at your three point then or your third year in, mm -hmm. then it's it's almost like are you kind of doing it again then? You know, no, it's just you know starting to pay for more of my time and not just the supplies. Got it. Um, okay. And people are saying, what exactly is she doing? They think it's like tattooing, and I think that seems to be the big thing. People are not understanding the difference because between we, this and tattooing. We fall yeah. under body tattooing, even though it's right. not body tattooing. We still fall under that. So, you know, in the state of New Jersey, we're not legally supposed to say semi-permanent tattooing, but, you know, if you don't keep up on it, it definitely will um, fade away. Now, you can see there's already the little hair strokes in there. Can you see it, miss? A tiny bit. So now we're just going to go over oh, those yeah. and enhance them. See? Okay, folks, can you see? <laughs> this is I know, scary. extreme close-up. Wow. I know. But I can see little hair strokes. All right. Okay. And so now I still have to pluck, yes, right? That but is it'll, be it'll one of my be, questions. It'll be easier now, right? Because it'll be just much more defined. Yep, just going to be more defined. You, know, you can pluck, you can wax anywhere after two weeks after having this procedure done. Okay. You know, you would want to watch anything that you use on your skin that would, you know, exfoliate your skin on your eyebrows. So I use Retin-A sometimes. You so I stopped it before we did this, yes. right? And then do you not use it for a few weeks? No, you can use it. Just avoid your brow. You know, okay. two finger breasts above. Okay. Mary Beth, she is not removing hair. She is drawing in more hair. I do in the right places. I do not remove hair at all. There are people that do remove their hair and have them, you know, tattooed on and things like that. I do not do that. I try to work with the natural shape of the brow as much as possible. I'm very conservative when it comes to it. And this is great, especially if you know someone that is kind of either has cancer or going through a cancer treatment. Can you talk about that? Actually, I cannot do it if they're going through any kind of oh, cancer treatment. Oh, okay. So it's an after it's treatment. It's an after treatment. Um, and then, yes, if, you know, if their brows don't come back, things like that, it's a great treatment to have done. No, we don't want to do anybody on active chemo, and chemo is also very rough on the skin. Oh, okay. So it probably wouldn't be Got great it. to do. Plus, you can't do anything when anybody's on active chemo. Got it. I'm pretty sure they're not concerned about their brows during active treatment. You'd be surprised. But, yeah? I would think afterwards, yeah. I mean, I think that's why cosmetic has become so popular. We were, uh, Stephanie and I were talking before this about, you know, how lots of cancer patients are having, you know, um, nipples put on cosmetically. Um, so there's lots of benefits to cosmetic we have. 
why do you think it's become so popular lately? Like all of a sudden microblading was just there. We actually heard about it because we were doing Chardonnay go in our kitchen and one of our guests came on the show. But do you think that most people even know what it is or or do I you know why? I think if they didn't know what it is, they do now because mm-hmm. it has become so popular. Um, brows have always been hugely popular. Now, beforehand, we would do it with a machine, um, which we still do for some people because not everybody is a good candidate for mm-hmm. this. And you would get a little bit more of a filled in look where this is a much more natural look. And mm-hmm. that's what people want. They don't want that Sharpie look that, you mm-hmm. know, their grandmother had and things yes, like that. Yes, exactly. Oh, Karen, thanks for answering Mary Beth's question. I didn't want to chime in and interrupt what they were saying, but that's exactly right. What are they talking about? She wanted to know, um, one of Mary Beth had asked, like, what, but do you still have to pluck? Do you still have to do this? She's like, what are the benefits of this? And Karen was like, Mary Beth, you would still have to pluck in areas where underneath, but as we get older, get um, the eyebrows get thin. And... Uh, yeah, yeah. and Mary Beth, you can, like, yeah, she wouldn't them, put on woolly bad. caterpillar look eyebrows on you. She follows the natural, the I, natural line. I am very conservative when it comes to brows. I always say, be happy, or get the brow, you're going to be happy going to Wawa with on a Sunday morning. <laughs> your Wawa brows. Your Wawa brows. This is my Wawa brows. This is your Wawa brows, brows Dina. Yes. You don't want, I mean, and you know what's funny you say that, though, but you know how many of us so on a true. Sunday morning that don't want to put makeup on, right, when we go to grab right. some milk somewhere, but I bet this just kind of makes you look better, right? Just, yeah, because some people will not leave the house without their brows. Like, I literally really? have clients who say they wake up before their husbands because their husbands have never seen them without their You're brows. You're kidding. No, no, and it's, I'm always like, really? Like, really? Isn't it, Mary? I think it is so interesting. I mean, not not the Wawa part. The, the brow part. But you know, this oh, this works great. You know, any makeup artist can go over this if you're going to go to an event, or you can go over it if you want a more dramatic brow. Right. You don't want to walk around looking like you're completely done. Right. And hence the reason of like going to Wawa. Like you're not going to go to Wawa with like right. some big brow <laughs> show makeup on. Right. Yes, Christine, it was, and you were there too. That was on the Death Show where Nicole. Yes, and Jimmy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, tell me about some of the other services in general that you guys have here. We offer a lot of great services. We are results oriented. So, you know, we have microderm, we carry the derma sweep, we have cool. What's derma sweep? Derma sweep is like a mer- uh, microderm, but it's done with bristles instead of crystals. Oh. And you go over the face first with the bristles, and that removes all of the dead skin. Mm. So then you can have a um, peel infused with the machine afterwards. And a lot of times you don't have the downtime. That's a, so many tra- words I've never heard. I know. Of. <laughs> <laughs> Dina's just pretending to understand what's being said to her right now. But, you know, a lot of people are scared of, like, you know, the old-fashioned peels because, yeah, you know. Yeah, because everyone's face would be red, red right, and peeling and, puffy, and stuff like right. that. But if you remove all the dead skin prior to doing the peel, you're not going to have the downtime. Got it. They can also, you know, infuse things like salicylic for acne or just, you know, Ooh, anything j- to make you feel good, too. So they, there's definitely different options with that. You know, we have cool sculpting, which is honestly one of the best things ever. Um, and this is all more facial driven, right? Cool sculpting cool is for your body. body. Oh, yes. what? What is cool, cool. sculpting? Cool Do you sculpting know it? They melt fat. They yeah. freeze they fat. They, You're they, they lying. Fat. I, I'm You're not all lying. Guy finish. wants to know if, um, if men get their eyebrows done. Oh. I have had some male clients you know, it's predominantly women, but, you know, men that have had alopecia where, you know, they lose their hair and it doesn't grow back. Right. Um, and then just men that have had sparse brows, things like that, have wanted them filled in. Now, I will say in planning this out with Stephanie, um, you know, we did have to find a time. I've been working a lot lately trying to find a time where, um, you know, I would have this done. And the downtime was very concerning to me because I work pretty much every weekend. So, so can you talk about that, like what this will look like in the day after or the week after? Sure. It's going to look a little dark and dramatic when you first have it done. It, or, you know, if you pencil in every day, it may not. It right. really depends on the person. Okay. Um, you know, I always say it's going to look dark today, a little bit darker tomorrow because the color oxidizes. Then it really, you know, starts to calm down. You can form a little bit of a scab. You may get a little bit of a crusting, things like that. And you're looking about seven to ten days. Okay. You know, more towards 
seven if you're you know you're on the younger side okay um then after that they may feel really really light i call it like my seven day freak out call because people are like i just spent all this money where are my pals? Your seven day freak but it's out not call. like i'm gonna walk around and and it's not like someone's gonna come up to me and say did you just get your brows done it's no, not that not at all so it's not painfully not obvious not at all okay because i have an event tomorrow night. nope you're gonna be fine <laughs> I have two we are of them. Mysterious medical spa medical spa People are asking. And oh, she, we're at a medical spot at Rosier. A medical, yeah. Thank you. Will you say that again for me, <laughs> nice and loud? A medical spa at Rosieri is where we are, and um, so they tell have, us your website. Oh, what's the website? A medical spa. A medical spa dot com mm. is our website. There a is. medical spa dot com. And this is Stephanie. Hi. And so one of the things that we did before so today is I actually met Stephanie probably three weeks ago and we had a consult to kind of talk about my skin and leading up to it, not using the Retin-A products um, and talking about what it is I wanted, what did I, you know, was I looking for something dramatic? I think in general, wouldn't you say that most people are, are looking to en enhance their brows but not have somebody saying like, oh my gosh, your brows look like, I don't want to lead with my brow, right? right like, exactly. <laughs> most people just want to kind of, uh, I think it frames your face so much nicer. I'm just not good at drawing them in. I'm like my grandma. You know, I'm like one step away from rouge. So, like, I just, I think that this Wait, is a nice... Wait, rouge isn't a thing? No. We, we, have a, we have a male question, actually. Oh, what's the question? Um, from Dr. Kranzelis. Okay. She wants to know if you can microblade the beard and then make him look like Johnny Depp. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> this um, is a special Johnny Depp special. Seeing as he's already way better looking than Johnny Depp, oh, I don't think I we need, need to do him that. now. Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, they are starting to use microblades for other things, but the beard, no. Not that I've heard of yet. That seems like a lot of blading. Yes. For a face. But there definitely is micropigmentation for hair. Oh, can you do it on a head? Yes, and there actually oh. is, like, um, I just read an article that people are starting to do microblades, like, in people's parts where they feel like they might be losing, like, oh, a little yeah. bit of hair. Like, if you were, like, sparse in certain areas, I guess people are going through and adding, like, little, almost wow. hair follicles. Now, does it leave a scar, these blades? Like, if, say you were, say you were a guy and you're losing your hair, right? Mm -hmm. And you remember when plugs kind of happened and then that kind of went poorly and they fixed it. But, like, if you were a man that was losing hair and you decided to go in and kind of microblade to fill in some spots, maybe where it's thinning, and say maybe they lost their hair in the long run, would, would there be remnants of these slices or are they so thin it's more like a paper cut? They're so thin and I'm not going down that deep. I mean, I could literally slice your brow right no, open. Stop. So it's, yeah, yeah we're not gonna do that. <laughs> you know, we really, you know, you really just have to, it's all in the pressure. Okay. So yes, I mean, could these scar you? A hundred percent. Got it. But that's, but that's not, not the point. That's not what we're going for. That's not what we're going for. somebody asked about the blades themselves. Are they like, um, different blades for each person or is it a one instrument that gets sterilized or how No, they're work? all disposable all and there disposable. are different types of blades. Um, I personally use three different types of blades. Um, these are my favorite and um, <laughs> she has a favorite yeah. razor. That's funny. <laughs> I have a favorite piece of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I like dark chocolate. <laughs> Never thought of my favorite razor. But no, everything that I use is disposable. So in terms of pain, I will say that the first run, like you said, mm -hmm. was the worst one. After that, I really can't feel anything that you're doing. Now, how old was this? Will this work? Like, how long does the numbing last? And well, I, I keep I, adding yeah. numbing. Every no, time like you, when I leave. Oh, probably like 15, 20 minutes. And then when that wears off, am I taking any kind of, I mean, do most people need you like a You can be a little Tylenol? sensitive to the touch. Okay. Like um, a bruise feeling? I don't even know if a bruise feeling. I think just a little bit more like you know that you had something done in that gotcha. area. You know, yes, you can definitely take a Tylenol. You can take an ibuprofen, you know, whatever you need to. And again, everybody's pain tolerance is different. Mm -hmm. um, somebody, Mary Beth wants to know if there's, because there's little slices, is there a chance of infection? There is a chance of infection. You know, I, I tell people, you know, Please try not to touch them day one. You know, you're going to go over them with soap. You really just want to take care of them. I've never had anybody have an infection, but...
but I mean, anytime you're opening the skin, mm -hmm. you do sure. run the risk of sure. infection. And Stephanie already gave me the pack for the go home that includes some type of lotion and then kind of an ex explanation of what the care is, what for the next seven to 10 days. Yes, yeah. all my clients will leave with dry gauze um, because you want to blot them for the next hour after you leave here. You're going to blot them every, you know, five to 10 minutes for the next hour because that's the blood and the lymph coming out of the skin. So that's what's going to start to form your scab. Okay. Then you're going to go over them gently with soap tonight. And then you're going to use the cream after ink that I send you home with. You know, people who don't like certain creams or if they have bad reactions to certain creams can heal them with coconut oil or just straight grapeseed oil. And they work well, too. Okay. But just a thin, thin layer, just to give it a little bit of moisture. All right. Can I tell you the thing I'm most looking forward to? Going to Wawa. <laughs> uh, right? On a Sunday morning. So I'll be Sunday like, morning. hey, Wawa. <laughs> Look hey. at the brows. Hey, Wawa. <laughs> Wawa's going to just see an influx of people with the great brows, brows on right? a Sunday morning. That's hilarious. So now I've already gone through this brow like I did with the other one, and I'm just going through little spots that I see that are a little sparse. You know, you don't want to put your hair strokes too, too close together because you don't want your uh, your pigment to migrate together because you then you end up with, like, a splotch of color. Oh. So overall, I mean, our show is a half hour. We're almost, right, we're at right. 25, 25 minutes. minutes. So this seems like, because you're almost done, right? Yep. It's a short procedure. And this was done right at the medical spa. And I will cover this brow with a little bit of pigment, and I will let you see okay. what the other one kind of looks like. Does it kind of look like the way it's going to look? Can they see it now? Or? Well, right now you're covered right now in you're pigment, so it's kind of... Oh, I'm messy. Okay. Not you're a little prettiest. messy. Okay. You definitely don't want to go to Wawa yeah. like this. Not, that would be <laughs> awesome. Drop and roll the Wawa. <laughs> Where's your milk? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be or, awesome. Um, what I can see, it looks like somebody professionally did your brows. Really? Yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to cover this one so, so we can kind of get a good, good I cannot outcome. wait to get this done. You, oh, you don't have it done? You I look like you have. Your eyebrows are lovely. Well, yeah. Draw them on. Oh, you draw them on. Drew them on before I came See, here. I think I'm, thin, <laughs> I think I'm a thin skin. Person. Oh, let's talk about the blonde. So, Missy, I don't know if you, got, you, get, you guys yep. can't see her. Yeah, flip over flip. and introduce yourself. Hi, and your guys. Blind In eyebrows. fact, I accidentally showed you my face earlier when I was trying to show you. Let's see, my eyebrows are a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit light. So, um, so Steph, can you talk about people that have lighter brows? Okay, so blonde hair, people that are fair, you know, everybody is petrified when they come in of color. Mm -hmm. You know, so many crazy black eyebrows walking around out there that turn gray or blue, and, you know, they know somebody. Right. Blondes are a little bit more difficult. You have to have a good color there. We do have darker blonde colors, medium blonde colors. We just can't go super, super light. Mm -hmm. And even though, as I said, it looks dark the first seven to 10 days, mm -hmm. it really will calm down. Okay. I have a ton of blonde clients. It's just, you can't be overly cautious okay. with the blondes because okay. then it, they'll come back and it's a it's waste. Gone. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll take a peek. All right. A little bloody. All right. But kind of gives us that, an idea. Is that kind of right? Let me see, let's flip it. All so right. So, Dina, those right. are amazing. Oh, that's so crazy. Hey, Annie, look at my new brows. I feel. Dina, it looks so good. It look, hey, Sal, these are my brows from Miss New Jersey. <laughs> I just got them. So this is awesome. So, so let's go through it again. So okay. on, in the next seven to ten days, they yes. may seem a little dark, they right? Yep. Even though we used, we were very conservative with the color. Um, and and then after that, then it'll start to kind of, it, you said it'll actually seem light. They actually seem light. It's like the epidermis forms like a protective layer over them while your body's healing. It takes okay. a full six weeks for your body to heal. That's the reason we don't touch them. Okay. So you see your true results like around week three or four. That's when the color doesn't seem too dark. It doesn't seem too light. It okay. seems just right. And, and then at what point do I come in for a touch up or is it different for everybody? Uh, you know, I like to say it's different for everybody because I feel everybody holds the pigment differently. I say anywhere from six weeks to four months but right around three weeks you're gonna be able to see like okay oh that spot looks a little lighter or right. I need to add some more hair strokes there or I'd like okay. them thicker I'd like them longer those are all the reasons for the touch up really good. right they you look can. beautiful um, I would love to see this done but I'm a little nervous that what Chris says because she's a blonde okay. right but you're a blonde right ish blondish well, blonde not -ish, naturally and right? my eyebrows are pretty dark all right mm -hmm. but I don't think they're that dark that's nice so there are options, and do you have like pictures of clients, like that people can see? I do. I have um, some before and afters mm -hmm. that you know people, if they make a consult, are more than welcome to come in, and I can show them, Got and it. I can even show them like colors and things like Got that. It. 
Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I tried no, to take a before good. picture, so I'll see if I can find it. But that's amazing um, to compare them. And so I'll do it before and after, but I think it should... What is microblading? Deborah, you have to go back and watch yes, this video. Yes, yeah, got to <laughs> um, It's a great video. It's a um, basic gist of it is we came in today. We started when you guys started with us. So this whole procedure was done in about 30 minutes. Um, we did do some numbing beforehand. Um, but basically, if you have a brow um, and it just needs kind of filling in and you're tired of doing it with a pencil, um, then you come see somebody like Steph at a, a, a medical spa at Rosary and they kind of just go with your natural arch of your eye um, and fill it in. Um, it, the, first, the first appointment can be expensive, but it's an investment. Um, and then you kind of keep it up through the year. Um, yeah, that's all right, Deb. We're kind of giving the, the summary of today. So um, I will be doing Tipsy Tuesday on Tuesday night. So that's what, four, four or five days yeah. from now. So you'll be able to see the brows and see the progress that it makes <laughs> uh, through the next two weeks. Um, and so don't forget, if you want to follow more of our programs, you just hit that follow button or there's like a button that says find us um, so you can know when we're going to be live again. Um, so thank you so much, so Steph. Welcome. Let's hear it for Steph, who's educating Yay. all of us. Um, so Carrie Pleasure said, you did it hurt? It hurt in the first pass, but it was numbed and it was just kind of like little little pricks maybe. Um, she said, so it's basically like a tattoo. It's under the auspices of a tattoo, but it's a blade, not a it's not a machine. It's not yes. a machine. So it's meant to be very natural. So we always like to give our pain a number. A one number. A pain ten. is a number. Okay, so 10 is really bad. 10 first, is having a baby. So first pass, what would you... First pass was maybe like a four? Uh, not bad at all. Yeah, I really, I really don't think it was And then that wiping, as she was wiping, and then you see that thicker color, that was pigment right. and numbing. Pigment and numbing so together. So that's why the first pass is a little bit hairy. Yeah. So, um, and then you don't feel anything pretty much after that, It says, correct? can you wear makeup? Makeup after. So how many? How long before I can? You wear can makeup? wear makeup all around it, just okay. not over your brows. Seven okay. to ten days. Seven to ten days. And I don't plan on putting it on my brows now because I don't have you to. Don't, you don't right? have to. I so will good. be pencil free. But you're free. okay with like shadow and stuff in the area. Mm -hmm. In the shadow. They said, can we see the blade up close? Well, of you guys are brave. I don't want to. I don't need to see. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. Um, Here you go. Oh. Can you guys see sure. it? Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's helpful to a decision, just as a side note. Um, but we'll keep you up to date on the brows. And thank you You're so, so much, awesome. Steph. Thank you for this in. is exciting. So, um, how often do you have to get it done? Well, you'll get this one done today. You can have a touch up six weeks from now, up to six months from now. Um, you do have to do upkeep with these, um, but I think it's a really nice investment. So, um, so if you get a chance, check out a medical spa at Rosary. They are located in Morristown, New Jersey. Um, and uh, if you get a chance, follow them they have lots of different procedures that website. happen here what's that do the website again oh and the website is a medical spa at rosary a medical a spa medical spa com. 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 that's even on facebook better. just search a medical spa a at medical spa at rosary on facebook um and so stay tuned we'll have lots of more fun things happening on chardonnay go live join us for tipsy tuesday at nine on tuesdays and uh we are going to be launching our kickstarter in the next two weeks for our game so um yeah, right? They do. Look at that. Dude, that's amazing. My kids are going to look at me like, who are you with those brows? So it's very exciting. So thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Many thanks Thank to you. Stephanie and everybody here at the Medical Spa. And uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Have a good day.